Welcome to our data visualization tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about creating scatter plots in Python. Specifically, they want to know how to generate a scatter plot with a legend colored by group without making multiple calls to the scatter function. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To create a scatter plot with a legend colored by group without multiple calls to plt.scatter, we can utilize the scatter function effectively. Let's start by importing the necessary libraries. Next, we will load the IRIS dataset, which contains features and target groups. This dataset will help us demonstrate how to color our scatter plot based on these groups. Now, let's create our scatter plot. We will use the scatter function to plot all points at once while assigning colors based on the target groups. However, to generate a legend that corresponds to these colors, we need to create custom legend handles. This allows us to represent each group in the legend without plotting them separately. Finally, let's display the plot. This approach allows us to create a visually appealing scatter plot with a legend that accurately represents the groups without multiple calls to plt.scatter. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a scatter plot with a legend colored by group without multiple calls to plt.scatter, consider using a loop as shown in the matplotlib example. For easier plotting and labeling of categorical data, Seaborn is a great alternative. Here's a quick example using Seaborn with the IRIS dataset. You can load the dataset and create a pair plot specifying the hue for species. If you want to focus on specific features, you can specify X and Y variables in the pair plot. This allows for a more tailored visualization. If you prefer using the Sklern dataset, you can convert it into a pandas data frame and then use Seaborn's pair plot for visualization. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.